Welcome back to the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. My name's Lane, and today we're working on all the junk. So, what we got going on today is, I don't know if you could tell, but we are underneath old Bertha. And other than making my face look exceptionally fat with that camera angle, what we're doing is uh we're getting real tired of not having power steering on this so we just got back from the balsa spa show it was a total nightmare to uh move around and and just deal with uh so what we're doing is this steering ram here has been leaking pretty consistently since we put the new valve on and now it's time to remedy that so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this steering cylinder off here Let's see if you guys can see that any better uh, on this side looks like we've got a ball joint style socket so we'll need a we could pull the cotter pad and then break that nut free and then hammer that back through. And then on this side is just, let's see if we can get you a view. This side is just a through bolt right there. That's covered in schmoo. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's see if something turns here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, had to dig a hole in the ground there was no way I was going to get a bar I bet you it's just spinning man. oh the lighting out here blows guys it's frustrating the light actually came out that is impressive Cool. So now on this side, I think what we've got, yeah, just that. I think I might even be able to get that in there. Oh yeah. Sick. All right. Through bolt is loose. So we gotta break the lines free, get that cotter pin out on the other side, and go get a hammer and stuff and knock that out. So let's go. All right, boys, well, we got the lines off. I looped them. Some little schmoo will get in the system, hopefully. Now, here we got, let's see if I can get you a better shot. We gotta get that uh, castle nut. Let's see if we can't get that cotter pin out. That's usually the tricky part. The cotter pins like to kind of rust into place. Oh yeah. That's not gonna come out. you can't get can't really hit it oh we got her there we go I thought we get her now yes let's see oh come on you gotta be kidding me you can't get a socket on this that's 
if it's gonna strip. I'm positive it's gonna strip. I don't care. Holy shit, it came off. We're about to make an ungodly mess. Figured it out. Just cleaned up just a touch here on the bench. There is a snap ring here. There's another one here, but that's probably just for the, so that should come out of there now. Maybe not. Ugh. Oh, another snap ring under the snap ring. Look at that. Wow. Seven years of schmoo. Come here, boys. We got the big snap ring out. I don't know if I can get you a view. Try. We got to do is take the fitting out, push that in. And then it'll come out. So then the cylinder keeps getting stuck in here. I'm wondering if it's bent. Because it should not be that hard to move in the And the bore and it, and it like gets it's, it's weird it gets stuck and then unstuck see that terrible honestly kind of surprising yeah that gets real sticky in there just maybe super tight bore I don't know I have a hard time believing that that's okay though what we got going on here? Why can't we get this past? Something's up. It does it feels like it's a hard stop there? This is just the snap ring groove it's hitting. It's possible. Gotcha, bitch. 
Oh, it's a metal seal. Uh. So that's what we got there. They're like a gapless ring. And it's probably just hung up on the lip of that. Seal, or the snap ring groove. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're just gonna order one of these. This thing's wasted. Got got some sand marks in there. Uh, I don't know or rust marks. You know, I'm not a pity. What a goofy design though. Huh. Oh yeah. You could see where it's at for a hundred years. Moisture got in there. that right up see there and there and so I can't really get a light in there for you but I guarantee the bottom of the cylinder is the same way you can kind of see it right there no es bueno scrap well boys I just got a phone with Garrison uh not great. They're gonna look to see if they have the parts. Uh, it's available, he just doesn't know if they have the parts on the shelf or not to build one. But uh, hopefully they'll take care of me on this. Unfortunately, it's just too far gone to be worth rebuilding. You know, I ain't got super deep pockets around here and even if I did, you know, I'm too cheap to dig into them. So I try to save everything we can and unfortunately this just ain't gonna do it. Um, but, way she goes sometimes hopefully they get back to me pretty soon with some good news So the new one doesn't new one doesn't come with that end, I guess. Costs extra, so there's nothing wrong with that end, so we're gonna reuse it. Alright boys, welcome back. We have got some shiny new parts in the mail. So Garrison sent us our cylinder. So let's get it on. First things first, we're going to put transfer our fittings and our ball joint, if that's what we're calling this thing. It's got to go on there next, and that'll be it. I'll just bring you back when it's done. All right, fellas. Look at this thing. It's just a treat. All assembled. We uh got our booty on there. So what we gotta do now is get it installed over here. Goes like that. So this thing. Try not to let as much of this touch the sand as possible. She is in there like a glove. Sick. All right. Where is this? Mm. 
Sick. All right. Then this is going to rotate. Come out. to get an adjustable or something that fits that I'll be back all right that's tight see about getting some lines on here If we can't get this one, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> She started, boys. Sick. Click. Click. Sick. Installed. I don't know about all that, but that's not bad, actually. All right, we just gotta get some rags clean up under here and put some oil in it all right fellas i did the hard work for you everything's greased tight and we get the cabin air next what we got to do is fill the power steering system and jack the front end up and then steer it side to side a bunch of times uh to get the air out so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll bring it back. All right, fellas, I think I've got her pretty much bled out. Next step is to get the old girl running, which it's gonna need a spritz. It was like 30 something here last night and there's just no freaking way. So. See if we can't get her to go. Waft it in its general direction. See if that works.
thing with no weight on it. The wood wasn't having it. <laughs> Hope the camera caught that. That was friggin' sweet. Unfortunately, we're unable to uh, pull it out, take it for a test drive today. Uh, so we'll have to do that another day. But um, she's good to go. Sure seems a lot easier to steer. I don't know if you could tell from what I was doing. Maybe I'll put a clip in here, the wheel turning or something. But good to go a couple bungee cords and uh, some wood later eh, no harm no foul right uh, sorry about that for the wet those of you who checked the website last week um, we had it down for a little bit look at this smoke coming out of the building <laughs> had it down for a little bit it's back up now everything's available uh, so if you want go ahead check it out old two t-shirts in stock we got hoodies on the way uh all sorts of good stuff so i will um keep you updated as to what comes in when plenty of keychains i just got a new order of those in because we sold out of them um so yeah thanks to everybody that bought something it's it's super helpful i mean this stupid stuff is terribly expensive just that cylinder from garrison was like eight hundred dollars uh with shipping and everything so every every t-shirt sale helps you know i mean it sure takes a lot of t-shirts before we get to 800 bucks we could spend on a truck so i appreciate it everything you guys send me all the all the money from merchandise and everything i put right back into the channel none of that goes into my pocket um we're just trying to build trucks over here and everything you guys do to help is sure appreciated so Hope you enjoyed this one. Just a quick little update on the cab over. I know you guys have been wanting to see more of it. And uh, I just flat out been out of parts. It's really hadn't been a whole lot left to do uh, for this year anyway. So now that, that that's buttoned up, we'll uh, I'll see if I can't find something else we got to do to it. I'll have to give it a look around and see. Um, but that's one major step because that was driving me nuts. 
And what would happen is all the power steering fluid would just run down through them lines and out that cylinder. And it was totally dry when I fired it up in the spring here this year. Uh, so it's nice to be able to put that issue to bed. Now it ain't leaking. Now we can actually have some power steering in the truck. I can't wait to get it out and, and see what it's like because that thing was a bear to get in there. It's like a 10 point turn to get that backed into that corner there. Usually it goes on this side, but it was a total nightmare without power steering. So I'm real, real excited to pull it out of here in the spring. In order to get that out, I've got to move this one out of the way. Uh, and maybe we'll do that coming up. If I do, I'll make sure we'll do a video uh, and, and update you on how that power steering's working. But yeah, that's a sweetheart. As always, boys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all you guys tuning in. We're going to make this channel something someday. I'm taking you all with me. See you in the next one.